In this video, I will be explaining how to add products to your TXGB account. The first thing you want to do is scroll up and click on My Business. Once you're in the My Business page, you will see an example that we've created. The business is called Jane's Bed and Breakfast, and there are three products. A single night stay at the Annex, single night stays at the Annex with breakfast, and Annex long stays, which is a discounted rate to encourage people to take longer stays. Now to set up your own products, you want to scroll up and click on the blue add product button. Once you have clicked the button, you will be greeted by this screen. Now, if you scroll up and click on existing item, you will see new. If you click new, you will be ordered to create a new item. In our case, the item is the Annex. Now, the reason for this is because the Annex is the only accommodation available through Jane's Bed and Breakfast. If you're a hotel with multiple sites or different offers, you would have multiple items. And within each item, you would then have multiple products. So a simple example of that would be, in this case, the Annex currently just has a bed and breakfast. But say Jane goes on holiday and she wants to make the main residence part of that product portfolio. So what she would do is add another item that has the name of the property. So it might just be called Jane's house. And then she would create multiple products under that item. So there would be two items, the Annex and Jane's bed and breakfast. And under each of those would be a number of different products, such as, for example, an offer that includes breakfast, an offer that doesn't include breakfast. And of course, it may have different rates. So the annex may be cheaper compared to the bed and breakfast main accommodation, which could be a lot more expensive and also only available in summer when Jane goes on holiday. As we already have our item set up, we're going to select the annex. We will then create a new product. For this example, we will simply call it new product. The code will be 1E. Now, the reason for that is because we have the item, which we've called code 1, and E is because it will be the fourth product in the list. So for your first product, I would advise you call it 1A. For your second product, 1B, and so on and so forth. You will then click on the occupancy. So this is what's included in the base rate. So for example, if a couple booked the annex with breakfast, you would want to have the occupancy as two included in the base rate because you don't want to charge additional money for each person. And let's say there's only space for those two. So you would say maximum two. And the same thing with maximum adults. You might say maximum adults, two. And for children, you would say zero. Here is where you will set your earliest check-in time. Now this is in 24 hour time. The earliest check-in may be 1 p.m., which is 1300 hours. And the latest checkout might be 10 o'clock in the morning. Once you have created that, you can then press save and then click OK. You will now see your product has appeared in the list. 1E new product. However, you will see that there are no nights, no options to book yet. In the next video, we will cover how to upload dates and availability for your new product. Thank you for watching.